Hi, it's Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Thursday the 2nd of August where each day I just choose one of our many uh, alerts from our members area and set it up on the chart with the stop loss entry. So I'm looking for potential shorts today. Markets bearish yesterday and futures are very bearish today. So looking for a potential short. So in our members area, if we just click on short fifth waves, our members get the opportunity to download the spreadsheet. On the spreadsheet, which we'll look at in a minute, it has potential short trades on the weekly time frame, the daily and the 60 minute time frame. We also do potential long fifth wave trades, stochastic long, stochastic shorts, they're all downloadable. The spreadsheet looks like this for today. I'm going, looking on the 60 minute time frame right now for a potential short here. So I'm going to set up this short on the chart. So I'm looking at RMD on the 60 minute time frame for a potential short fifth wave move. Yesterday, the last two days, we've pulled up against this shorter term uh, bearish trend. We found resistance in our red probability zone. Now we're looking to go short into our automated target zone. But before I do that, I just want to look at this um, range bound period at the top here. The highest point of the range bound period for those members that have our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, this is where we isolate the wave count. And then our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, and this is the Ninja Trader NT8 version. It's also available for multi charts, TradeStation and Thinkorswim. Uh, our Elliott Wave uh, sequence is then automatically put on by our software. So we've got an ABC correction, we've got a, a 1, 2, 3, and then this is the wave 4 we're interested in right now, so we can trade the fifth wave. So back to the scanner membership. Three basic filters that we put on there for the results. First of all is the wave 4. We've pulled back against the, the, the main trend. And it's found resistance in this instance in our red zone of how probability zones on our indicator suite. This gives us a 75% probability it's going to go on and make that new wave 5 low into our automated target zone down here, about 10350. The next filter is the measures the performance of this wave 4. So this is the 535 oscillator down here, which is the top of the two subcharts. During the wave 4, we have pulled back between 90 and 140%. So that's a great indication the wave 4s behave very well. Also, the stochastic. We've got these yellow dots in the oversold zone here, denoting a, a strong bearish trend. It's pulled back against there into the overbought zone. And it's likely then to cross over and want to return to that main bearish move. So we've got those three initial filters for our membership area. Setting it up on the chart, quite simple here now. We've got to look for an entry. So the stop loss, first of all, is above the wave 4 high, 10740. The entry for this, we've got to look at the first bar position. Remember, 60 minute uh, candles here. We want to be outside our 6.4 moving average low, which is part of our indicator suite, and we use these for entry. So this is the red uh, moving average line here. So as you can see, for the first candle position here, 105.94 would be our entry ideal entry and that gives us a risk to reward of 1 to 1.8 into the middle of our target zone there so great risk to reward very very simple setup from our scanner membership area using our Elliott wave indicator suite makes it that little bit easier uh, this is the indicator suite for ninja trader um, from wave5trade.com so that's it for today very simple setup potential short fifth wave move on the 60 minute time frame for RMD have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow